We are on a mission to find our roots, literally. We've been searching for ways to bring the greens back into our homes and make gardening less of a challenge. Our search brought us to the Dewi Sri Farm here in Laguna. They practice what we call hydroponic farming. Hydroponics is the process of growing plants without the use of soil. All they need is water. There he is, the man we are looking for, the owner of Dewi Sri Farms, Mr. Daniel Laurente. Sir, what a pleasure for us to be here in your farm. Yeah, welcome to our farm. Well, Hello. Tell us all you? about what, 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 you, what you have going on over here. I see, um, I see all sorts of vegetables and produce growing, um, and I've noticed it's growing in a very unusual sort of system. What is Dewi Sri all about? Dewi Sri, uh, in Dewi Sri Farm, we are growing vegetables, mm -hmm. mostly hydroponic. Our plant is growing on uh, water mm -hmm. with uh, nutrients in it, and plus, of course, oxygen. Right. We have to have the water oxygenated so that the plants will grow. And they look unusually healthy as well. I mean, just look behind us, I can see some beautiful fat spinach that yes. looks really, really healthy. Unusual, uh, more less usual varieties of kangkong over here, yes. am I correct? Yeah? Yes, that's it. Uh, and then and, and some the colorful red spinach. Uh, red spinach over here. Everything looks like they're really thriving. The growth twice as much to more than, you know, twice as much. Produce more food, hygienic, healthy, no pesticide. Right. And that's the benefit of growing plants this way. I'm not much of a gardener myself, but luckily we've got Ralph Becker over here from Urban Greens, a partner at this farm, to help us sort of understand what goes on here. This is uh, yellow spinach, and it's all grown hydroponically. These so sit on a bed of uh, foam boards, and the roots sit in, in the water. Here you go, you can see Look here how uh, nice and clean those uh, roots are. Yep. That basically shows, and you can see like the little tiny hair on yep. this, that shows like how nutritious uh, the vegetables are because they pick up all of the uh, nice nutrients straight out of the water. A pool of, of water that's got nutrients in it and basically you've got these boards floating on top with we the do. plants just sort of suspended off, off of those. Exactly, exactly. And then you can see here uh, the crunch and how, how big these leaves are. Yeah, that's you know. a nice healthy spinach you got yeah. there. Yeah, and you can just, because you don't need to wash it because it hasn't been sprayed by anything, um, you know, inorganic, you can just take it. I gotta give, give that yeah. a try. Yeah. Look at how big that yeah, is. I know, look at it. This is lunch right over here. Wow. Okay. Mm. I can feel the muscles growing already. This is good stuff, fantastic. Yeah. How old or how long would these plants have been growing? This one, that would be about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So another half week or so, and uh, they're ready to go. So that means actually that it's also a lot faster grown than in conventional farming. Okay, um, where obviously this is you know pretty close to the end product already. Mm. This is soon to be harvested. Yep. Um, and there's not a whole lot to do, I assume, other than just sort of taking the plants exactly. from there. There's not a lot of washing, there's not a lot of cleaning no. that has to happen. Yeah, so the way it works, basically take out couple of these, mm -hmm. wrap them up, and you're, you're ready to bag you're ready. it. Okay, I hear a little bit of a hum, and I see a lot of uh, a little bit of piping. Uh, what exactly is that? That's basically just uh, air. Okay. So that's to keep the oxygen level in the water mm -hmm. at the high level. So mm -hmm. basically, plants like um, oxygen yep. and uh, and nutrients in water. We use the same nutrients that are available in the soil. So we extract those nutrients, and we know exactly what nutrients uh, a specific plant needs and we basically put it back into water. We, we compound it and we dilute it into water. All right, the life cycle of uh, the hydroponic plant. So these are the seedlings that you were talking about here, Ralph. Yes, we basically um, seed them in here. This yeah. is uh, cocoa peat. Uh -huh. So they'll be uh, seeded like this. We take them out of the cocoa peat um, into little strings like this. And then we cover them in uh, rock wool. All right, so Ate Maricel is going to show us uh, you know, how, show they, us. how they do it. Bali po, kukuha kayo ng tatlong seed. Ganyan. Okay. Tapos, irarap nyo. Then, ipapasok nyo sa oil. Let me give this a try. So, we take... Three of those. Two or three of those. Yep. Okay. And then, you wrap it a little bit high. Okay. Yep. So, you're, you're actually leaving the roots uh, hanging off there. And, um... In 15 go. seconds, I've done my first successful hydroponic planting. There you All right. go. It's, it's really quite an intriguing system. Okay, so once uh, this, this tray is filled, um, you basically just let it sit and let, let uh, nature take uh, its course, so to speak. That's basically it. If you come back in two weeks' time, this plant will be grown uh, as big as the other ones you had before. 
Ralph founded Urban Greens in October of 2016. His mission was to provide a sustainable solution to gain food security in the country. Despite being such a lush and green country, yeah. actually uh, fresh um, and healthy uh, greens were actually very expensive. Yeah. So I thought like there, there's something wrong with the, uh, with the food system here. Yeah. So I investigated a little bit more around that and I found like hydroponics being a solution mm -hmm. um, that I could um, provide then and, and, and I would explore a little bit more. Okay, I, I'm assuming that's where Urban Greens was born? No one was doing this here in the Philippines, particularly for the urban space. So I yeah. thought like that that's quite an opportunity. There's a real advocacy behind uh, what you do. Overall, it's, it's, it's being able to provide healthy and, and fresh greens to, mm -hmm. to a larger urban population. It solves a lot of issues that, that, that you have in order for being flexible. Mm -hmm. So you can grow it indoors as well as outdoors. Okay, so far we've seen large-scale sort of troughs. This looks like something that you could actually, um, you know, have in your home. So this is a system that we're currently selling on our website. Okay. Um, this is the this is the commercial model mm -hmm. um, for your home use. We will have a slimmer model as well that is uh, much more appropriate. So you see this drum here. Yeah. That's a, a hundred liter drum and we filled it up with the same water that you see here. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we mix it yep. accordingly. Yep. And then it has a small aquarium pump in mm -hmm. there, like a really a 12 volt pump. Yep. Uh, so it doesn't take up a lot of energy. Pushes it up there and on the inside, it just rains down. So it's like a shower system where the yeah. roots yeah. are nested on the inside. Also have access to air mm -hmm. because this uh, drum is hollow yeah. as well. So they have air and water, mm -hmm. super environment for the plants to grow. It's a very space-saving solution mm -hmm. in a way that uh, in, in the towers that we have, you can grow 30, 36 towers in less than a square meter. Okay. So because it's a, it, it grows vertically, okay. um, different hydroponic systems work, mm -hmm. work in different ways, but they're all very space-saving, very efficient, right. uh, efficient power-wise because you only use like a small pump, mm -hmm. efficient water-wise, which is becoming quite a scarce and expensive resource right. as such. Um, because you only use about 10% of the water that you would use in conventional farming. We're more challenged in getting fresh vegetables, yeah. so it's, it just makes sense for everyone to grow their own food at home. So the big dream might be for everyone to have their own little tower growing, their own little you know, patch of, uh, their own little bit of green yeah. in their own home. Tower or wall system or whatever or it whatever may be, it end up being at the, at the end. Uh, or at least uh, where we will be able to, to supply um, a, a community mm -hmm. with uh, vegetables that is grown not food miles away yeah. but food steps away sure. so literally around the corner and that you know where it comes from and that it's fresh as it gets. Well, all that gardening and talk about fresh greens has really worked up my appetite. Luckily, we are at a farm where everything we need to turn these greens that we picked up along the way into a satisfying meal is available to us. What do you suggest we do with this pako that we picked okay. up and some of the spinach? What do, what, do you th what do you think we can turn it into? We could turn it into pako and spinach salad. I like the sound of that. What is the best way to prepare the pako? You have to use your fingers okay. so that you can cut the tender part. Okay. Here. So you just have to, for as long as you, it, it breaks easily, it means it can still be used. We'll blanch this okay. together with our spinach. Our spinach as well. Okay. Two or three minutes and it's done. Okay. Okay, so we have our uh, blanch. Paco is blanched. We also mixed in a little bit of spinach in there. We're going to take a little bit of tomato, I believe. Yes. Yeah. We're also going to use a little bit of lemon, I believe, correct? Yes. So egg. egg. So it's just really a question of mixing all of Mix these things it. together. Are we tossing? Are we tossing this? Yeah, later, yeah. just put it on top. Now it's also nice to add a little bit of cheese on top cheese, of that, I yes, believe. That's when you crumble. Yeah. Give you a happening here. And your lemon. A little bit of sugar to balance it all out. And mix it, toss it, and you have your salad. This is something that we picked literally just minutes ago. Uh -huh. The real test of any salad or anything that we put together here is giving it a taste. Fresh, 
Crunchy. Crunchy tasty. Delicious. Danielle, thank you so much for welcoming us yes. to your farm thank and sharing you. this recipe with us. Yes. With the technology available to us, growing our own food will be less of a challenge. Water-grown produce, like we've seen, is a step closer towards food security. All you need are seeds and water, because green thumbs are optional. When we come back, we'll check out a rooftop garden in the metro that is innovating the gardening community.